Good morning, all. I am Sangeeta, Assistant Professor, Department of Mathematics, NLS College, Nalmara. Today, I am going to take a new topic. A new topic, and uh, this topic lies in the first portion of the Module One of your syllabus, and uh, the portion is the transcendental function. The transcendental function, in what do you mean by a transcendental function? Transcendental function, before defining this transcendental function, what do you mean by your algebraic function? You have to define that. Algebraic functions are functions like a, for example, are or some rational functions like that, right? So functions involving addition, arithmetic operations, uh, addition, subtraction, division, they are called as rational, sorry, algebraic function. So next up, so functions which are not algebraic function is known as the transcendental function. For example, all oh, this transcendental function are natural log natural log exponential function. Trigonometric functions, hyperbolic functions, they are inverse, uh, inverse trigonometric functions and inverse hyperbolic functions. Uh, also, gamma and theta functions like that. You didn't study in that. Uh, these type of functions are also uh, these transcendental functions. So, in the natural log exponential function, there is no arithmetic uh, of functions involving. So, this function is known as the transcendental function. We are going to, st to study. The first one, natural logarithm. Natural logarithm is defined as and it is denoted by this ln and is defined by ln x equal to integral 1 to x 1 by t dt. This is the definition for all x, for all x greater than 0. This is the definition, this is the notation and the definition is ln x equal to integral from 1 to x, 1 by t, dt. Actually, or it can be also defined as natural logarithm is uh, its logarithm to the base e. This is the logarithm to the base e. And it is actually uh, oftenly denoted as ln x log e to the base x or sometimes base e symbols it simply log x. This is the definition and these are the common notation of this natural logarithm. 
right so next step how can you define this how can you define the um, many natural this is the definition and uh, from where uh, this definition came and you have already heard about the fundamental theorem of fundamental theorem of calculus already studied part 1 and part 2 i need part 1 now what, what was the part 1 if f is a continuous function on an open interval i and if a is any number in I, then we can define a differentiable function function capital F of is equal to integral a to x f of t dt where x is in i then you know that f dash is equal to f of x okay this is the fundamental theorem of calculus part one from this definition we are going to uh, now from this definition we have defined this natural algorithm and here substitute substitute f of t equal to 1 by t f of t equal to f of t equal to 1 by t and a equal to 1 then you will get to the definition for logarithms okay Next, we are going to study uh, what is the graph of the log x. Already in the second sum, we have studied it. What was the graph? Log 1, you know that is equal to. This is the shape of the graph y equal to 1 by p the shape of the graph and then integral 1 to x 1 by t dt is also defined as this is the area under the curve from one to x. Okay, in geometrically, this is interpreted as the area under the curve of y equal to 1 by t from the onwards. Right. Next, we are going to define the derivative of the logics. Okay. 